this is Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. It reads, The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and destruction. I want to say all praises to the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Rukha Kadash, to have understood the Apostle El as a great millstone. I never respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. And basically, the title of this lesson is, is the, the fear of your how is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. But you know, there's going to be something to, the, to that effect. And in the time that we're living in, it's very important, you know, to uh, deal with your how about shame and how shy. Uh, and the reason why is that is because, you know, we are privileged. You know, to have this wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh You know what I'm saying? Not too many people in the world that have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because the scripture also say, the, the scripture also say that uh, his disciple asked Yahweh Shah. You know, it's like he asked Yahweh Shah is, uh, you know, why do you speak to them in parables? You know, your house, I told him, they were given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But, but to them, it's not given. And if you understand the truth, you know, you, you understand the fact of the matter is that it's not our, on our own accord that we, you know, getting this wisdom, not to understand that Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh You know, it was given to us by the Most High, man, through His Son, Yahweh Shah. And to and we give another scripture. You know, that just came to mind, you know, understanding that the wisdom and knowledge of how about Shem Shah is something that we, you know what I'm saying, we didn't earn, you know, it was given to us, man. Because scripture also said that, that that the wisdom is a gift. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't buy it, but only it's given to us by how about Shem Al Shah. And understanding that uh you had to understand that you can you understand that your house shall have the power to open up our understanding and you have the power to close our understanding. And this is uh Revelation is chapter three. And and this is this gonna this gonna make a very good point of what I'm trying to say. It's uh let's say Okay, this is Revelation chapter three. And this is uh, verse 7. It reads, To the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things that saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, and he that openeth and, and no man shut it, and, and shut it and no man open it. What that's talking about? It's talking about this wisdom, knowledge, understanding how about Shem Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shah can get can open up your understanding to receive the scriptures and you also can close your understanding. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's the reason why it reads to you know, we gotta come in this truth, man. Through power spirit, you have about Shem Yahweh Shah, we gotta come in, in this truth humble. Because you just know because at any given time your house shall could shut off your uh, understanding that you would not be able to receive the truth, man. That's the reason why when you're in this truth, you know, you pray to your high about Shem Al Shah that he keeps you in this truth. Okay, just think about this. It, it's over seven hundred billion people in the in the world. And and you are you are one out of over seven hundred billion people to receive this wisdom and understanding because only a few people that's going to receive it, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, only a few people that can receive this wisdom, this knowledge, and this understanding of the truth. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why the scripture said in Proverbs 1 and 7, the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of instruction, the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Who are fools? Are fools? Those fools are the two thirds of Israelites, man. Because guess what? The two thirds of Israelites they despise all uh, wisdom, they despise instruction, man. And and the very thing that they need in order to maneuver and to shake you know, into how to live in this society, you know, them the very things that they despise, man. You know what I'm saying? 
and, and how you do it, we fear, you fear you have by streaming outside, and you keep it all statutes and commandments to the best of your ability. You know what I'm saying? And first and foremost, you have to tell somebody how about streaming outside anyway, because the scripture goes on, I believe it's in John 17, but he, uh, we didn't choose him, but he chose us from the foundation of the world. You know what I'm saying? You have to be chosen, you know, in order to, uh, you know, to be being a lift, because scripture said, I also say in the book of Matthew that many are called but few are chosen. You know, I understand that. You know, so there's gonna be a lot of people that are called in truth, but only the elect of Israel is gonna be chosen. That's gonna be delivered out of you know the things that are to come. Man. You know, why you know you have by Shimon how shot showing you that showing us that grace, man, that we receive the knowledge and truth. Guess what? We shouldn't take advantage of that. You know what I'm saying? We shouldn't take advantage of that. We should fear you how about Shimei Al-Shah. You know, we should call upon his name. We should thank upon his uh, upon his holy name because he didn't have to wake us up to the truth. He didn't have to give us this wisdom and knowledge and instruction. And also the wisdom and knowledge instruction, as it said in Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6, is going to be the stability, stability of our time. And I'm just going to go ahead and get it. It's Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. It reads, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times, and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. You know what I'm saying? Again, having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the word of Yahweh by Shimei al Shah, you know what I'm saying? It's going to help us to make it through these hard times that we're about to go through, you know, in Jacob Trouble, as you can read in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 5 through 7. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're gonna we gonna need this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh about Shimei Hal Shah in order to make it through. You know what I'm saying? Across the world, you know, they're gonna go through Jacob Trouble as well. But they ain't gonna know what to do. They're not gonna have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But the elect of Israel is gonna obtain that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, Yahweh about Shimei Hal Shah is gonna be with his elect. And we pray that we're part of that elect, that he's gonna see us through these hard times, man. Right? Because, guess what? We, we don't know that we are there, that we're praying that we are. We're praying that, that we'll are, we are make it through these hard times. We'll pray that, uh, that we are chosen, you know, of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. And guess what? You know, 2 Peter 1 and 10, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and get it. You know what I'm saying? Because, because it says that we have to make our call and let you sure. You know, especially getting this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. This is 2 Peter 1 and 10. It reads, Wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling in a lesson sure. But if you do these things, you should never you should never fall. And, and, and make your calling a lesson sure. You know, that's also how you, know, you obtain wisdom and knowledge and understanding. You go out and do the work. You know what I'm saying? You know, you study, you know, as it said in Second Timothy 2 and 15, it says, The study show thou shalt prove unto your how. But work and not need to be ashamed, rightly divide the word of truth. You know what I'm saying? That's part of uh, getting that wisdom out to understand it. It's the study. You know what I'm saying? It's the, it's the uh, look up words, look up look up uh, things for yourself, man. Get the understanding for yourself. You know, there's nothing wrong, you know, with, with listening to brother videos and being edified, but also at the same time, you know, or for you to get that wisdom out to understand it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta look up things for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Look up events for yourself. Look up worthy events for yourself. And, and you may lessen out of, you know, edifying sheep. You know what I'm saying? Not only you edify sheep, it's helping you, you know what I'm saying, to understand what's going on. Because we all have to be aware of what's going on around us. We all have to, you know, be aware of what, what's going on in society. We also need to be aware of what's going on according to the scriptures, man. You know, looking at the world events and, and preparing with the scriptures and also that helps us to build up our faith. You know what I'm saying? Build up this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And as the scripture said, because God, this wisdom, knowledge, of the scriptures is it, going to help us to make it through. You know what I'm saying? But if you are, you know, despising the word, man, you despise the word of Yahweh by Shimei Al Shah, then, you know what I'm saying, the, the scripture calls you a fool. You know, he said, I'm going to read the last part of Proverbs 1 7. It said, But fools despise wisdom and instruction. And that's a lot of our people, man. They they despise this wisdom and they despise instruction. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to go down to Proverbs chapter 1. We're going to go ahead and uh, 
thought it uh burst. Uh shit. We're gonna go ahead and start at verse 20. You know, it's a lot of me, but I'm gonna go ahead and start at 20. He said, Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried and she cries in the chief place of concourse, in the openness of the gates. In the city she uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And he scorned us delight in their scorn and fool hated knowledge. And that's our people, man. Our people hate it. Our people hate knowledge, man. They hate the wisdom of Nazi how about Shimon Shah. And how did you know that? And you probably ask, how do you know that? But look how the way that they act, man. Even when the truth is all for, you even have people like, you know, I'm good. I've been saved for 11 years and that, this, this, and that. But scripture said that he that didn't do it to the end, the same should be saved, man. You know what I'm saying? Do it to the end means that you are in this word. You you understand the wisdom not to, you know, you how about Shem out child, you repent it. You know, you serve him to the best of your ability. You keep it, his law, statutes, and commandments. You know, you doing the work of your how about Shem out child. You know what I'm saying? You're not out here, you know, Slack, you're not out here doing, you know, doing what you want to do. You're not out here living in wickedness. You serving the Lord with everything you know, everything in your might, man. You know, everything that you can to serve your house by streaming out of shot. But you're going to have our people that are going to turn it back, you know, from the truth, man. They ain't going to want to hear about this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because the truth is, you know, it's like a great pearl, man. You know, even though it says the kingdom of heaven, but, you know, getting it with knowledge and understanding is like that great pearl. And once you find that pearl, you say, every, you, you, said everything you have and you buy that pearl and what's that pearl that pearl is just wisdom knowledge and understanding of this truth you know what i'm saying once you find what you're looking for once you find that 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 you know what i'm saying that uh that living water man you ain't gonna want nothing else man you ain't gonna want to go back to you know those ways of the world man you ain't gonna want to go back to them religions that you was in you know what I'm saying? Why? Because you, you find what you're looking for. You find that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And all of us in one particular time, you know what I'm saying, we didn't have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We was out in the world, you know what I'm saying, we was in the church, you know what I'm saying, we was, you know, in Muslim, Buddha, Christianity, you know, Scientology, Egyptology, you know, whatever religion, uh, some of us was atheists, man, you know. Whatever well, religion, whatever well, state that you were in, we, we didn't have a truth then. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have a truth, but you know, when you hop by see my shop, put the spirit up on the park and they taught the word and, and when once we first heard it, you know, it resonated with us, man. And we realized that this is truth and once we got that taste of that living water, you know, those who in the truth got a taste of that living water, you know what I'm saying, we didn't go back, man. We didn't want to go back. It, it, this is what we look for, man. You know, this is what this is what we needed. But you got people that hurt and, and they taste the living water. But you also you had those that went back into the world, man, showing that they are fit. Because the scripture also said that if you knew to do the Father's will and you did or not, you got beat with many stripes, man. And it's and it goes to say if you didn't know the Father's will, you got beat with few stripes. Well, you know what I'm saying? It also said in the scripture, it's better for you not to even know the most high. And then for you to know the most high, then you just turn your back on it. And you got a lot of Israelites that did that. They they know about this wisdom, not to see how about Shem out shot. They know the word, they know the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? They 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 break down the scriptures that most high gave me wisdom not to understand it. And and you know what I'm saying, and, and when they got it, you know, yeah. You had those same folks, they, they go back out to the world, man. Because, you know, they could have got kicked out the camp because of their wickedness. You know what I'm saying? Something that could have took place and, and, you know, caused them to go back. But, you know, nevertheless, once you got this wisdom and knowledge, you understand how about Shem Shah, and you're going back into the world, the scripture calls you a fool, man. Because you despise that wisdom and instruction, man. And that's what you don't want because, as I said in the last video, you know, we all pray you all by Shimon Al Shah that he does not take his spirit from us, man. And that was David praying in Psalms of 51 and 10. He said, you know, he prayed you all by Shimon Al Shah not to take his whole spirit from me. 
And that's what we should have to pray because we don't want to go back into the world, man. We don't want to go back, you know, go back to that field because it's, I believe, you know, Peter, if it, it says that it's just like a, a dog, uh, you know, you know, when somebody, when dog bummy goes back up, he, then he lifts it back up again, you know, roughly paraphrase. Why? Because, you know, when you go back up, when you go back into the world, I do receive this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh, about Shem, and Al Shah. It's just like you're going back to to your vomit, man. You know, and, and you got a lot of people, they don't want to hear this truth. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They, they hate wisdom, they hate knowledge. You know, they'll do anything else except, you know, trying to receive the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh, about Shem, and Al Shah. And that's the reason why stuff is going on with what our people way they to do because they they simply refuse the word of Yahweh Shemel Shah. But let's go on to verse 23. It said, Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make my word known made my made known my words unto you. How you do that? You know, through the men of the Lord, through the prophets, man. Because they're on highway byway teaching. And they making videos, breaking down lessons, you know, taking word events, breaking it down breaking it down through the scriptures, you know what I'm saying, making it, making the words you have about Shem Al Shah known them to his people. But yeah, you know, even though it's known throughout the world, man, but it's mainly taught the elect of Israel and also the Israelites as well, but we know that the two thirds are not gonna receive it anyway. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna receive the wisdom and knowledge and instruction that you have about Shem Al Shah. You know, he constantly making his words known unto them. Verse twenty four, and this is what they do. He said, because I called and you refused, I stretched out my hand and no man regarded. And it reminds me of scripture, you know what I'm saying? That's Zephaniah uh, 7, 11, and 12. It said that when he stretched, we, when he hearkened, you know, let me just get out one of those here. You know, it, it said something, you know, about, you know, they, you know, they uh, pulled away the shoulder. Let me uh, lock it for that. Give me one more. I'm on bro, sorry about this. I'm trying to hold up hold up the camera and, and uh you know what I'm saying. Probably need to get selfish stick, but you know it's what it is. King King Zechariah seven. Ah uh, here it is. It's Zachariah, not Zephaniah, it's a lot for this. This is uh Zechariah chapter seven and this is uh verse uh 11. It reads, and this is about, it's talking about our people. It's talking about the Israelites, you black, Latino, Native American. It's, you know, it's talking about your two thirds. This is what you do. It said, it said, but they refused to hearken and pull away the shoulder and stop their ears that they should not hear it. And that's what it's talking about when the man, the men of the Lord on the highway, byway teaching. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they uh, stop their ears and they pull away the shoulder because they don't want to hear the truth. You know, they want they want to stay in the society, thinking that this is the only thing that they got. But so verse twenty say, Yea, they made their they made their hearts as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law and the words of Yahweh of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore it came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts, and that's what you said now. Because our people, you know, they 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 refuse to hearken to the voice of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah and they don't want to hear the truth. And, and you see that, that they pulled away the shoulder, man. I mean, it, I mean that they don't want, they don't want to hear what you got to say. You know what I'm saying? And that goes hand in hand with this uh, this uh, next scripture, Pro Proverbs one and twenty five. It said, "But ye have said, and not all my counsel, you and will none of my reproof." Basically, they, they don't want to hear the words you have about shooting out shot. But they'll turn around, claim that they love the Lord, but yet. When you start bringing out the scriptures, and once you start bringing out this wisdom, not your understanding, you know what I'm saying? They stop their ears, they don't want to hear it, man. It's showing you that they don't want to hear the, the correction, hear the words of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. Because Hebrews 4 and 12 said the word is quick and powerful, and it's sharper than any two edged sword. And once you start getting this word of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, it cuts, man. It, it cuts. And it cuts very deep, man. That's the reason why you got a lot of people they fall out the truth because they can't handle what the word brings, man. Because the word cuts and it, and, it, and, it, and it cuts very deeply. You know what I'm saying? We're going to continue on. It says that, uh, you know, this is uh, this is what Yahweh going to do when, 
when Jacob Trevor come, when martial law come, all these things gonna happen. And these are those who heard the truth and they and they refused. They're talking about you two thirds now. It's a uh, Proverbs one and twenty six. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock you when your fear coming. When your fear coming as desolation and your destruction coming as a whirlwind and distress and anguish coming upon you. And and that's that's gonna happen to a lot of you Jays, man. Y'all gonna hear that y'all gonna see all these things gonna happen and you gonna be calling Oh, uh, you're going to be calling on God and Jesus. And guess what? They're not going to answer you, man. Because that's not the true name. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 when, and, and when you hear the men of the Lord teaching and telling you the true names of the Most High, Yahweh, and Son, and Yahweh, Shai, you refuse to hearken unto it. Now, with all these things come upon you, all of a sudden, now you're going, to, you're going to try to look for the prophets. You're going to look for the men of the Lord trying to get your answer, but, you, but you're not going to find them, man. You're going to be seeking your high by Shimei al Shab, trying to get this wisdom and knowledge to understand, but you're not going to find them. And that's in the next verse. It reads, uh, Proverbs 1 28. It says that uh, they they uh, they should call upon me, but I will not answer. They should see me early, but they should not find me. For they for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh, but none of my counsel and despise all my reproof. And, and that's what a lot of the Israelites do, man. They they don't want to hear the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh by Shimei al You know what I'm saying? They despise the word, you know what I'm saying? The word is behind them. Uh, you know, as we read Ze Zechariah chapter 7, verse 11 through 12, you know, they, they refused to hearken. They pulled away the shoulder, meaning that they didn't want to hear what hear what the men of the Lord had to say. Because all of them wants to turn, you know, they want to uh, do their own thing. They want to... Come to your how about Shim how shot some other way because scripture say you try to climb in some other way if they're going through the straight gate you're gonna be you gonna be classified as a thief and a robber you know roughly paraphrase you know what I'm saying because uh, you got to come in and get this word one way and that's through that's through your how shot you know what I'm saying and, and, and a lot of people trying to get, trying to obtain a right on a right they trying to attain you know salvation some other way but it's not gonna work you're not going to attain this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of your how about Shimei how shot unless it's given to you. You're not going to get it no other way. No seminary school not going to help you. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how many doctrines you got, but if you ain't got the spirit of how about Shimei how shot that's upon you to teach this word, you're, you're not going to get it, man. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get it. You know what I'm saying? The fear of your how is the beginning of knowledge. You know, fearing Yahweh by Shem al child when you're hearing the word of the man of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? You repent it. You know what I'm saying? You repent it and you turn back to your power, man. You know what I'm saying? You keep the law, statute, commands, best of your ability. You'll stop eating poor shrimp, lost the crabs, stop eating unclean food. You'll, you'll stop committing adultery. You'll stop fornicating. You'll stop, you know, going, you know, you'll stop uh, going to places that you shouldn't have no business going. You know what I'm saying? You start doing the thing that you're doing that knowing that this bleeding unto your how about shim how shot. And you start repenting, you start turning back to your power. You know what I'm saying? We know that the law is not gonna save us. But guess what? You know, we are responsible to keep the law statute from heaven to the best of your ability. Because you love you got these Christians, they love to say that the law done away with. But guess what? Anybody say that they don't they don't have no will not to understand no scripture. You know what I'm saying? Because the laws are still in effect, man. You know, ones that we can keep, you keep it to the best of your ability. And we know we're in the land of our captivity. Captivity is some of the laws that we, you know we can't keep because we're in our captivity. You know, for uh, example, you know, like the Sabbath day. You know, the Sabbath day. You know, it was, you know, it was, uh, you know, from Thursday sundown to Friday sundown, man. You know. A lot of times, there's a lot of us have to work. You know what I'm saying? Because I tell you, on the Saturday, we only supposed to work. But guess what? You know, we in the land of our captivity, but we, but guess what? We have to try to keep the Sabbath to the best of our ability, man. I said we gotta try to keep the law to the best of our ability. That's what grace comes in. And I mean, grace don't mean that you can go out and do whatever you want to do. And again, it goes back to this word, man. You had it with some nonsense, I'm telling you how about Shemal Shah. You know, if you feel the 
Shri Yahabha Shiva Al Shah, you know what I'm saying, you'll understand the word, you understand what you need to do in the power spirit you have by streaming out shot man. You're not gonna go out and do your own thing. You're not gonna go do what you wanna do. You know what I'm saying? You're not you're not gonna be out here doing doing all types of wickedness, all types of nicotine. You know what I'm saying? You'll have that fear you have by streaming how shot on you to understand that I'm not gonna do what I wanna do, man. I pray you have by streaming out your house shot that he keep me. That he helps me to uh Keep his law, statute, commandments to the best of my ability, man. And help me to walk in, in a straight and narrow path, man. You know what I'm saying? Because scripture said that there's going to be a wide gate and broad is the way that lead to destruction, and many going to go in there at. And also, the same token totally says, straight is the gate, straight is the way, and straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that lead us to life. And few that, and few uh, that be that's going to find it, you know, roughly paraphrasing. And with that fruit, that's going to be the elect. It's all the people that's going to go through that straight gate. Everybody else going to go through that wide gate, man. Because they've been told inside, you can live how you want to live. You can do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? The laws are done away with. You know what I'm saying? They had no fear of how about streaming outside before they face. And they do what they want to do. And, they, and these are people that's going to go through that, through that wide gate, man. And they, they're, going, they're going to lead to their demise. It's gonna lead to their destruction, man. You know, and you know what I'm saying? The fear of your heart is to begin a, with a knowledge, the fruit of the spy wisdom and destruction. I wanna say all praise to the most high, your heart by Shimmy Al Shah, double honors to the apostle else of great marriage tall, and every spirit to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. See you again with another lesson real soon. Yahweh, Shalom.